Hi, welcome back. I'm at the same uh, waterfall where I was yesterday. Remember when we saw it at night? It was beautiful. Well, now it's a little earlier, so you can see it. I wanted you to see the contrast because the title of today's talk is the, um, the, con the notion of contrast. And that's a very interesting notion because um, when we have one, we, um, we can't really see one without the notion of contrast. And um, it allows us to see the other side. And so, you know, it's kind of like the candle where, you know, if it's a light and you have it in the sunlight, then you can't really see the light, but you put it in a dark closet and then you see the contrast. And so it is with the light and the dark, um, and dark personalities too. And when we are, oh, some kids are screaming at the birds. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, I don't know who's louder, the birds or the kids. Anyway. <laughs> oh, kids are so fun. Oh my gosh, one's climbing a light post. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, um, you know, black is the absence of light, right? And so you can, um, and contrast, there's a continuum. So it's not like black and white, there's always gray, you know? So you can have a teeny tiny bit of light and yet uh, you haven't gone all the way 180 degrees to the other side, right? Because a circle is 360 degrees and so you have a 90 degree angle this way and then 180 degrees. So it's the polar opposite of it. So, so it doesn't have to be like, somebody doesn't have to be, oh, so bad, and they're just like the devil, and they're dark, versus an angel. People are um, find their place on a continuum, because we all have a little bit of dark inside of us. It's the yin and the yang, no matter what. <clears throat> but as we evolve, we, we try to shed that dark, and we get rid of it, and so we because we identify it and we see it and we don't want it. And so we, as we try to be better and better, then we become lighter and lighter. Isn't that good? Yeah. And so, um, so, so too it is with humans. And um, we can take note of who we were maybe five years ago or even five months ago and see our progression and see how much how much more evolved we've become. I know that when I even read some of my writing, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I wrote that. Because, um, yeah, I was just in more of a, I don't know, I wasn't in such a happy place, maybe. And so, um, or it was more fear-based, you know? And so as we become lighter, uh, then we, we let go of fear because we know that fear is just an illusion. And that uh, just like uh, our life here, is, we are living an illusion, you know? And so um, nothing is real. You know, even the Course in Miracles, if any of you know that, you know, it, there is nothing that's real here. It is only as real as we make it, as we allow it to be real in, to, in our lives. And so when we are afraid, uh, we can really, we can let that fear go because it's just in our minds. Most of the things that we worry about never come to fruition. And uh, when, we, when, we con when we concern ourselves with that negativity, then actually we draw it to us. We attract it and we don't want to do that. That's the, that's the opposite of what we're here to do. We're here to evolve. We're here to see the light. We're here to be the light. We're here to be the love. Yeah. And so the contrast allows us to see the best and the worst in us and in those around us. Um, and dark does exist if there's insufficient light. And so therefore it really, um, it behooves each and every one of us to try to be, to try to um, have as much light, to embody as much light as we possibly can, to make the world a better place for ourselves and for everyone around us, for our family and for our friends and for all those whose lives we touch. And we touch every life that is around us, you know, because there are no, there are no chance meetings. It's 
we are meant to learn from everyone um, with whom we interact. And we talk about relationships, and relationships are really the reason why we're here, because everything is a relationship. We have a relationship with ourselves, which is the most important relationship we have, which is to develop self-love. Or we have a relationship with our, with our lover, with our significant other, we have it with our mother and our father and, and our siblings and our children and our grandchildren and our neighbors. We are in relationship with, with the person at, um, I'm sitting outside of Barnes & Noble, so with, with the clerk at Barnes & Noble. We uh, have a relationship with um, all the people that are our Facebook friends, that, um, that uh, we interact with. Yeah. And so, um, so uh, let's see. So, um, when we're surrounded by darkness, it's we are asked to forgive, just like Jesus forgave the darkness that surrounded him. And you know, you hear about sometimes um, all of a sudden a mother will uh, be in court because she will be uh, at a trial where the person, a gang member or something that killed her son or something, and she's, you know, deeply bereaved. And yet, um, she forgives the person the, because he didn't know any better and because he had a, you know, troubled childhood and was in the dark. And so, um, we just never know. You just never know someone else's path. And that um, all we can do is everyone around us and everyone with whom we interact, we just uh, to try to be as kind as we can be. And, you know, contrast, it goes back to the notion of contrast, because um, when we are very kind and we are surrounded by kindness, our parents and our family, and we're, we're in that type of an environment, then we really don't, um, all, that's all we see and that's all we know. And we think, oh, everybody's kind. And yet, uh, the contrast allows us to see that, um, that that isn't the way it is and it allows us to appreciate who we are. Just like the criminals, you know, criminals, if they are surrounded by other criminals, like children that get in, involved with, um, with children that are, you know, doing some really bad things, um, they don't, they, they think that's standard operating procedure, and yet they don't even realize that until maybe someone becomes their mentor, or um, maybe they don't have parents that take care of them. And so somebody kind will come into their life and help them turn their life around. And then they see the difference. And then they appreciate, um, they appreciate who they can be. And they also appreciate who they were and how they needed to be in that space in order to transform and be better. And so we're grateful for the challenges that we have because it allows us to see the perfection in our journey. Because all of us have been in situations where now, years later, we look back on our life and we think, oh, I can't believe I did that, oh my gosh. But I didn't know any better and so that's what I thought I was supposed to do. You know? And in terms of, um, this is kind of maybe a silly example, but in terms of um, love, you know, we can't really have a relationship with our, with our significant other until we have a good relationship with ourselves. And so, um, you can have a good relationship with you. Um, you need to have a good relationship with you, I mean. And Maria needs to have a good relationship with Maria before Maria can have a good relationship with, with somebody else. And that's what you, um, when you have a good relationship with you, then you see what you want. And then you see the contrast of what you don't want. And then you can have a good relationship with someone else. So um, part of maybe, uh, what if the benefit of part of this global pause <laughs> that we have is to focus on relationships. Because now as we've had, kind of we've been in isolation, we've had to spend more time with, um, with our family, with our friends, instead of being out and about, because there really wasn't an opportunity to be out and about for many of us and for, for much of the time. And so um, it allows us to really, um, let's see, it allows us 
to um, see who we really are and who we want to be and it allows us to change some of our habits because um, it seems like I don't know uh, uh, it seems like many of us have lost our way or had lost our way and that that um, almost like relationships weren't valued as much as they could have been because you know well I don't know I have done this but you know like those internet hookup sites and so it's kind of like you don't even know their names it's kind of like oh you just hook up and then that's it it's kind of like bunnies but um, there's where's the emotion where's the connection where's the heart um, the heartfelt yeah connection and and the love I mean when we share ourselves, when we share our personalities, when we share our thoughts and emotions and certainly our bodies, we want to have this deep, wonderful connection. And so, so sometimes um, people have become very unconscious and yet uh, we're here to become conscious. We're here to, um, to find our way. We're here to evolve as souls and to be the best we can be. And so that's a, a whole new way of living and it's a whole new way of interacting and are seeing ourselves and others and seeing our oneness with God and seeing our oneness with the infinite intelligence uh, that has been giving us messages for years and years, if not decades and decades and, and uh, centuries and centuries and we've been asleep. And uh, now we're beginning to hear uh, the, the rooster crow. And we're starting to wake up and say, oh my gosh, I, I can do so much better than I've done. And, um, and then I can feel so much better about myself because I know I'm on the right track. And so as we see the contrast, you know, it's, uh, it's, we can embrace the dark because believe me, if you could pick between being light and being dark, you would want to pick the light because the dark has a very tough time of it. Could you imagine looking at yourself in the mirror and knowing you're so dark and knowing that you spend your time harming people and, and causing disaster to others? I mean, and yet they are so important because it allows us to see what we don't want to be and it allows us to grow and to become more in the light. So stand tall, be self-assured, uh, stand in your purpose and enjoy life and be the very best you can be in every possible way. So anyway, I, that's my message for today and I, I hope it made some sense. It's just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I think with the kids screaming and stuff and the birds chirping and oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, I wish you a wonderful day and um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And so stand tall and be strong and, um, and know that you're moving toward the light by leaps and bounds. Okay, I love you. See you. Bye.